Chapter 12, Corporate Valuation and Financial Planning. Topics in this chapter include financial planning, additional funds needed equation, forecasted financial statements, operation input data, financial policy issues, changing ratios, Financial planning process. Forecast financial statements under alternative operating plans. Forecast the free cash flows to determine the estimated intrinsic stock price. Determine amount of financing needed to support the plan. The additional funds needed or AFN equation. AFN equation forecasts the additional financing need by the operating plan. The basic idea is estimate new assets required, subtract new spontaneous liability, for example, accounts payable and accruals, subtract Reinvested profit, for example, net income minus dividends. Additional funds needed equation. Key assumptions. Operating at full capacity. In 2019, sales are expected to increase by 10%. The asset to sales ratio remain the same. Spontaneous liability to sales ratio remains the same. 2019 profit margin and paid out ratio will be maintained. These are the definitions of variables used in AFN equation. Head fields AFN using AFN equation. AFN equal to required additional assets minus increase in spontaneous liabilities minus increase in retained earnings. We can get a result use the following equation. Forecasted financial statements, the basic approach. Forecast operating items, for example, sales, cost, inventory, etc. Choose a preliminary financial policy and use it to forecast the financial items, for example, long-term debt, interest expenses, etc. Identify any financing surplus or deficit and eliminate. Repeat until satisfied that the plan is achievable and is the best possible. Forecasting operating items. Forecast the sales to grow at choosing growth rates. Forecast many items as a percentage of sales. For example, cash, account receivable, inventories, fixed asset, cost, exclude depreciation. Forecast depreciation as a percent of fixed assets. Variations on the percent of sales. In some situations, it might not be appropriate to model operating ratios as a percent of sales. This situation include economies of scale, non-linearity, lumpy asset acquisitions, possible ratio relations, 
For example, we can see in the following picture, there is a constant AS ratio. However, economies of skills can change the asset to sales ratio in the following picture. Also, we can see nonlinear asset to sales ratio. There are also possible ratio relationships, it's called lumpy increments.